Hey y'all, you're at Kidwell Hatchery. I'm gonna start with the white leghorns today. I'm gonna shake some of their food down. They got fresh water yesterday. I wanna know why this hen's comb and waddle. Maybe that's not a hen. That's another rooster. Why is he so much smaller than the other twos? Unless that is a hen. I guess, I guess she kind of looks like old bird if that is a hen. But the other two, three definitely are not as developed because those guys developed nice and quick. She's gotta be a hen. She just is old, the older. <laughs> I, they were all hatched at the same time. The same age when we got them. Hmm. I don't know why I'm just realizing that now. I'm gonna shake some of this food down. Not that they can't reach it, but I don't know. Makes me feel better. I'm gonna pop on over to the Spitzhalben coop. I did not go back yesterday to collect eggs. Um, I got distracted. I have three kids and housework and a bunch of other stuff. So, you know, I didn't go back. I'm going to check their water, make sure they have water. Make sure that they have food. All the hens are out of the box today. So, that should mean that I won't disturb anybody. Hey, y'all. Hey, Patricia. No, you're not Patricia. What is wrong with me? Hey, Mabel. I'm guessing they need something because they're all here. They got water. Oh, their food needed to be adjusted. So that's straight. And we got four eggs in there. And there's no telling if they were laid yesterday or today, but it hasn't been too cold or anything, so shouldn't have to worry about all that. Don't, don't. What? Why you want to come out so bad? I know y'all need greens. I know. I'm working on it. I'm gonna go in here, check on our death layer hen. And the chicks are cheaping about something. Probably an empty food bucket. They're being mighty loud about it. Oh yeah, empty as can be. Look y'all, she's eating. That's so good. Hey, hen hen. Hey, you are looking and moving so much better. Yay. That is so exciting. These guys still look dirty and icky. Excuse me, honey. <laughs> well, their food was just stuck up in there is just fine. I fixed it. So both Crazy Sue and Big Bertha have been able to, they've been getting down a lot more lately. Um, so that's actually really super duper exciting. Look at all these crazy ass chickens. Hey y'all. It doesn't seem like Wiley Riley's coming out any at all. I haven't seen her out yet.
That's Big Bertha. That's exciting, y'all. Hey, be nice, Mr. Rooster. I'm gonna check in on Wiley Riley. See how things are going inside. She's still up top. She looks okay, though. I don't really see um, any damage. Maybe a few feathers missing, but not a lot. So, not too shabby. She is actually still much smaller than they are. I'm sure all the Americanas out there are kind of freaking her out a little bit, but it's okay. She will get used to it. She will assimilate. I don't know if that's the right word or not, but integrate maybe, whatever. We'll go into the Am Samani pen next. See if we got any eggs over there. Looks like we got four broody hens. Again, I don't um, understand exactly what makes a broody hen broody, seeing as how only one of them seems to be laying an egg right now. Um, it don't make no sense to me. Everything is still wet from the massive amounts of rain we had. Four of them. Need to get some shavings up in here for them. None under her. None under her. Hey, Bethlehem. None under this one. None. So no AM Samani eggs right now. Go ahead and go over into Goliath's pen. I don't see any eggs over there either. Um, which is not, it's not a terrible thing, but you know, we do have a few um, leghorn eggs. Excuse me, Goliath. We do have some leghorn eggs in the incubator because now they are fertile. Um, so that's going to be exciting. I'm interested to see what that mix looks like. Had to knock Orpy's food down. I'm going to check her water. She still has plenty of water. Now we'll go into the shed and check on our brooder chickens. Well, I should just say chicks because obviously we have quail in there too. Um, we just moved a fresh hatched quail in there. Um, what, I think last night. These guys are doing good. See them right back there. And then our quails down here. Hello, mister. Hello, missus. They got water. They need some food, of course. I'll get on that in just a second. And then I don't see any eggs in there. I might put some gloves on and see what I can find. And let's see here. Hello, little quaily. There you are. There's our freshly hatched little quail baby. Um, I did just hatch another one out. Uh, we couldn't tell if they were um, fertile or not. Our candler really isn't that awesome, I guess. Um, and quail eggs are dark, so it's hard to tell. 
Um, and uh, we had eight in there. We've had one hatch and then um, six out of the seven that were left were not developed at all. Um, even though she's laying fertile eggs, I guess because she's still young. And then one more was in there. I hatched it out. We'll see, hopefully it makes it. We need to get a better candler. If y'all have any recommendations on a good candler that would be able to see with the quail eggs, that would be great. We would love to have the info um, because we are in need of one so that we can tell when our quail eggs are developed and where we're at. So that is it for Kidwell Hatchery today. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, y'all. Sweet little quail baby.